Okay, so it looked like the grease ready, you know what I'm saying, to get this popping. And it really is popping, so you better, you know, watch out. Ah! Shit! What's up, Trip Gang? It's your boy Trip, and I'm back with another banger. And you know, it's a rainy day outside. You know, I'm hungry. I couldn't go out to get nothing to eat. And I was just thinking, you know, why don't I just go up in the kitchen and cook my own food? It's one thing y'all know about me. Back home, they call me Chef Boy Ali. Yeah, that's right. Chef Boy Ali. So, you know, today, man, we're going to do a little something different. We're going to do a vlog video. And I'm going to cook my own food. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. You know, so, you know, we're going to do something little like make a little steak, maybe some potatoes and, uh, you know, some eggs, something like that. But I want to know, do your man cook for you? Do your woman cook for you? While you in the bed, snuggled up under the covers, dreaming of getting that money, can you smell the aroma coming from the kitchen of a nice fried steak or, you know, some eggs and buttered biscuits and, you know, uh, fried fish, catfish, or, you know, whatever you like for breakfast. Can you smell it? If you can't, you need to get you a good woman, get you a good man. It's a teamwork, you know. It's good to go out and eat, but sometimes you want that home-cooked meal. So that's what we're going to do today, man. I'm about to get it popping. I'll let your boy. Right here, we got a nice red potato. You know what I'm saying? Nice big knife. I'm going to go ahead and slice this up. You see that? Make sure you don't cut off your finger. You know, you need them. Man, you ever figured out how important a thumb is? Without a thumb, you can't pick up nothing. Then I'ma do it like that. Do it like such. These gonna be like them little squared little hash brown uh, potatoes. I love potatoes, man. And I, I leave the skin on there, cause you know, the skin is where all the nutrients and stuff is at. You know, y'all cutting off all the good stuff. You can keep the skin on there. That ain't gonna hurt you. You know, add a little more flavor to it. <clears throat> now, once I do it that way, you know, I go ahead and cut them into little squares. Couple of those. You know, once you fry that up. That'll be good. And you put that in there, you can rinse them around, rinse some of that extra dirt and starch off. You know, put that all up in there. Man, I'm the perfect man, if I have to say so myself. You know what I'm saying? I, I date me. Take the cold water. Switch it around. You know, rinse that out. And you can take that, cover it up, and you put that in the refrigerator. Okay, so now we got a nice piece of meat here. You know what I'm saying? Nice little steak. Now what you want to do now, you know, I don't know if y'all use this, but in a black community, accent is everything. Now, I don't know what it tastes like. Nobody knows what it tastes like. But they say it wake up the food. You know what I'm saying? Because the food already dead, you know, so you got to wake it up. You know, uh, I don't know what the accent do. Honestly, they could have told me anything. But, you know, you see your mama doing it, so you want to do it. Um, you know, seasoning salt. You know, in the black community, you know, uh, regular salt just don't, don't cut it. You know, you need seasoning salt. You know, the red kind. Lori's. You know what I mean? You sprinkle that on there. You know, uh, and you do both sides. I don't know what y'all people be doing when y'all do one side of the chicken or one side of the steak. You know, the whole thing's supposed to be flavorful. You know, I, I just don't get that. You know, onion powder. You can't go wrong with onion powder. You know, sprinkle that on there. Mm-hmm. 
Fresh pepper. Now, I know a lot of y'all meat enthusiasts and um, uh, beef people and, you know, people and all of that kind of stuff say that, you know, all of the seasoning is messing up the flavor and you're only supposed to be putting uh, salt and pepper on there because you really want to taste the flavor of the meat. Nah, I don't go by that. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like a nice, well-seasoned steak. You dig? You know what I'm saying? This ain't, uh... The steakhouse, or whatever the case may be, this trip's house. So you're gonna eat this steak the way I cook it. You know, then I use a little bit of garlic. You know, you can't go wrong with garlic. I love garlic. One of the best things they ever made. You know, just make sure you brush your teeth after if you go on a date. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it. You might not have another one after that if you don't. This. It's seasoned pepper. Now, I already done seasoned it with seasoning salt and stuff like that, so you just want to go light on that. You know what I'm saying? Just a couple sprinkles to do. Bam. Bam. You know what I mean? Now, this is my secret ingredient. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just show y'all the name of it, McCormick, because I don't want y'all, you know, if you start cooking like me, then you don't need me. You know what I'm saying? That's when you try to get rid of me. Sprinkle that on there. Yeah. Sprinkle it on that side. Now I'm going to show you how. This looks so good. I could throw it on the grill right now. You know. Um, let me rinse off my hands. Now I'm going to show you all how. A nice seasoned steak is supposed to look. Look at that. You see how you see all that flavor and uh, you know, peppers and all that stuff on it? That's how you know you got a good seasoned steak. Some of y'all steak be looking uh, a little thirsty for seasoning. You know, flavor. So it look like the grease ready, you know what I'm saying, to get this popping. And it really is popping, so you better, you know, watch out. Oh, shit. Let me turn that down a little bit, you know. <laughs> you y'all know how it be. You know what I'm saying? It's a dangerous task when you're in this kitchen cooking bacon or anything that you frying. You know, it's it's kinda like you. It, Okay, I think we good now. Just put the rest in there. You know, cook up them potatoes. The steak ain't gonna take that long, you know what I'm saying? The eggs ain't gonna take that long, so. I'll let your boy, Chef Boy Ali. That's how the, you know, potatoes look, you know, in process. No, you gotta do that. Be done. Take them off that grease. Okay. All right. So this is the potatoes, the hash brown potatoes. After they all done and crisp, you, you know, you put them on that thing, let the grease soak out and put them on the paper towel. Y'all know what it is, man. Chef Boy Ali, come fuck with me. Okay, so now it's time for the steak. You know, what you want to do is get that butter in there. Letting that marinate. You know what I mean? Then you take some garlic, fresh garlic. You put that in there. 
Man, if I could, if this had smell of vision, y'all are all be in heaven right now. Get you an onion, and you just take a little bit of the onion, throw that in there. Oh, okay. That might be a little too hot. Then you take the steak and put it in there. Now you don't want to cook your steak for too long because you want it to stay juicy. You know what I'm saying? Nice and juicy. So what you do is you just cook it. This steak is kind of thin. So you're only going to cook it, you know, for a couple minutes on each side. You know, but don't quote me on that because, you know, in the black homes, you know, we just go by, we don't measure nothing. We don't got the timer for nothing. You know, we just go off of, you know, uh, what it feel like, what it look like. You know what I mean? That's just how we do. Now see, I can turn that over already. You see how that steak got a nice little char to it? I might cook it for another minute or so on there, you know. But, um, man, you can smell it, you know what I'm saying? You can smell that aroma, putting you in a coma. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and sometimes you gotta do that just to let them know while they still sleeping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know what y'all missing out, man. Y'all need to get, to get you a trip. You know? Smells so good and so wonderful. We got the, uh, the potatoes over here. You know, they soaking, getting all that extra grease to leak from it. I'm telling you, this steak don't take that, that much time at all. You want it to be a nice little pink on the inside. Once it's done, you know, you got that butter, you got that garlic, them onions and that nice flavoring. You can get your plate ready at this point. Cause at this point is when it's like, okay, stuff getting ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. Cause it's pretty much done. I just wanted to, you know, get that nice little coating on the outside. Smells so good. Man. Mm-hmm. Holla. Okay, so now that that's done, you know, it's time to, now I was gonna do these eggs a little different, but you know, do some scrambled eggs, but I ain't got all the stuff that I want for that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just make, you know, fried egg. Now this is coconut oil. I know a little bit, not, some of y'all use that on your skin and all of that kind of stuff, but you can cook with it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know? So, I take a little bit of that. Just crack the egg. And put it in there. Like that. You know what I mean? Let me open up this. The egg is frying right now as we speak. I hate when they do. Oh, okay. Take a little salt. Sprinkle that on there. Take a little pepper. Put that on there. And 
I'm gonna show you how this look. That's not a fried egg look. But what you wanna do is, you grab your thing and do like that. You know, it's simple. Some people like fried eggs, some people don't. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fried eggs, hash brown, and steak. You know, you throw in a little bit of yogurt and some uh, bare naked uh, granola, you know, some water. And what else? You know what I'm saying? What else you need from me? You know what I'm saying? What y'all want from me? What, what you niggas want from me? In my DMX voice, you know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy, man. Bon appetit. You know what I'm saying? Good morning.